Okay, so welcome to the third video of the series how to use my in-game admin tools and today I'm going to show you the loadout editor. It's used in some of my mods, it's used in my achievements mod, it's used for spawn select to uh, spawn you with gear and um, yeah, you can do a lot of things with it. Um, and I'm going to show you the default presets today. I'm going to explain you everything in here. And in the next video, we're going to create a new preset from scratch. So we delete all the presets in here and then we're going to start again. Um, I'm going to show you the basic basics of how to how to use it and um, how to preview stuff. Uh, you can already see we have the player here. Um, this is used to test spawn anything. So, for example, we have a preset military clothing. This is set to root. So if this is enabled, we can see in our spawn select config available presets. We have the military clothing, vanilla loadout, parachute and weapons medium. So these are all the presets that have root enabled. So the weapons medium, clothing and loadout um, and the parachute. This one is missing item. The, so that's why it's red. And the others are green and these are like uh, turquoise uh, green blue um, so very important thing is the order of how we spawn any items so if we for example spawn our weapons first and we have no clothing on us or we have the vanilla clothing and we delete it afterwards um, these items will not properly spawn so for example we have our weapons it's only spawning the m3 uh, m4 in our inventory so if we reload it's going to try to spawn everything again we have a few different presets in here um, and we have our clothing which we spawn after we spawn our weapons nothing is in, in here so uh, everything is empty we spawn uh, the m4 first and then the clothing so we can we can have problems with that so we want to remove this one with double click and remove this one or click on clear list and then we want to spawn the clothing first and then the weapons and you can see we've got an extra magazine and when we load we got another magazine here um, so this also applies to spawn select when you have spawn points and add the clothing first and then add anything that should spawn inside the clothing so let's go back to our loadouts um so this is one loadout we have black matching clothing we have a helmet we have a weapon so if we check out the military clothing we can double click on here um to edit no we don't want that uh double click to uh, remove it again um military clothing we can see in here we have the uh three sub presets so um this military clothing, when it's spawned, it's trying to spawn these three sub presets and we can double click on them. And as you can see, they don't have individual chance set to one. So individual chance makes them spawn independently of all the other items that are in the same parent preset. So we have our military clothing. This one has an individual chance of one. So one is 100%. So if we try to spawn military clothing it's always going to spawn because this chance is set to one and spawning means it spawns all the sub presets and inside the sub presets the green um, the clothing green the clothing TTSGO and the clothing black all have individual chance set to zero so this one is not enabled and the chance is one so they share um, the same chance pool and one of them is selected. So if they all have chance set to one, they all have the same chance to spawn. Basically, we add up all the chances, so they add up to three, and then divide the uh, one by three, so we have 0.33, so 33% for each of the presets to spawn. If we have a fourth preset or set this chance to two, we would have for the this ch uh, preset a chance for 50% to spawn. And green would have a 25% uh, to spawn and black also have 25% to spawn. If we set all to 2 again, we would have the same chances as, as before. Everything with 33% because all these chances are the same. Add up to 6 and then we can divide 2 by 6 and we have a 33% chance. So this is how you can make 
matching clothing, like the TTS Go pants, jacket, camo, boots, and everything in here. Um, put this into one clothing thing. Then green, have the matching clothing in here and spawn the matching clothing or not just random clothing at all or sometimes you don't spawn with pants or you have two pants you spawn with and no t-shirt for example. So this is how you can ensure you spawn at least with or exactly with one piece of clothing and they all match. So clothing has these in here and these sub presets have the pants and jacket and everything in here. So. When this preset is selected, it's going to try again, spawn the sub presets. And we can double click on here and we're going to get to the TTS Go pants. And we have the name here. So this is the name of the item. So at, or the preset, we can name it anything. So um, this name we can change, but we also need to change it here. And the item name is the item that spawns. So if I change it, we, you can see the item disappears and now it appeared again because now it can spawn it or find the item. So this one again has individual chance of one because when we spawn this sub preset, we always want to spawn the pants. So um, this one has only one pants and we always want to spawn it. Same for the jacket and the boots. And the bag also has an individual chance but of 0 0.7, so a 70% uh, chance to even spawn. And then we have the helmet, also a 70% uh, chance to spawn. And then we have another sub preset, preset military clothing vests, which we have in each of them. You can see this one all cha uh, changed, but um, the vest is also in, in every of the sub presets. So we can spawn additional items like vests if these sub presets, any of the sub presets are spawned. And with a chance of 0 0.7, so 70%, we spawn any of these vests. So um, these vests again then are defined here. We have the police vest and we also have individual chance set to zero or disabled here. Otherwise, uh, it could spawn two vests or one vest only. Um, but we want to, to have only one vest from this list over here. So we need to set individual chance to zero for all these vests. And um, so if this preset is spawned, we're going to spawn any of these vests. Doesn't matter if we have the chance to 0 0.7, we have it for all 0 0.7. So again, we end up with a 33% chance for any of these vests to spawn if we even reach the 70% chance. So um, that one is going to be checked first and then it's trying to spawn any of the sub presets and this would be the police vest, the assault vest or the plate carrier. And the plate carrier again has some attachments that tries to spawn like another sub preset. And we can go to the attachments. This is again a preset from over here and this contains the plate carrier holster and pouches. And we always want to spawn these attachments so we have individual chance set to 1 and the chance also set to 100%. And the holster is over here. It can spawn with a 0.5% chance and the pouch is also 0.5% chance. So that's basically all the clothing we have. And let me remove the weapons and um, I'm going to reload it a bit and then we're going to see how it's spawning the clothing. So if you click on reload, now it spawned the black military clothing, it spawned the cargo pants, military jacket, boots and these all had a chance of 100% to, to spawn. So these are always going to spawn. Then the assault bag, this one had a 70% chance to spawn. So this one spawned in this case. The helmet, same here, it has an individual chance but also set one. So it's always going to spawn the helmet. And vests, we don't have a vest. So we had hit the 30% chance of the clothing vest to not spawn. It was a 70% chance to spawn. So click on reload. This time we spawned with the vest and it selected the police vest. Also we spawned with backpack again. This time we spawned with the field vest. Now we spawned with the exact same load loadout. Now we spawned without a backpack. So this is the 30% chance of not spawning with a backpack. And we spawned with the field vest again. Now we spawned with the plate carrier. It had the holes and the pouches on it. Maybe let's try again with the plate carrier. Yeah, now this time we only had the holster. 
and we always spawn with the matching green and black clothing as you can see. So that's basically the clothing explained, how you can do this. And now we're going to ch check out the weapons. So um, down here we have uh, the military clothing and also oh, our weapons medium. Yeah. So uh, at this back again, so we can see we spawned with an SVD. It had a mag and we have extra ammo and a mag. So how you do this? Um, the medium weapons again has an individual chance of one, so we always spawn with one of these presets. And these presets have an individual, no individual chance, so any of these uh, will spawn. So the M4, the SVD and the SKS all have a chance of one, but also individual chance is not enabled, so one of these will spawn and all of these have a 33% 30 chance to spawn. Um, if we would set the individual chance to 1, I'm going to show you this, So and set the chance to 0 0.33, um, the output will be different. So um, we can do this here, and now you will think, okay, it's the same thing. We have a 33% chance for everything to spawn, but we have individual chance set enabled. So if we reload, now we spawn without a weapon, because everything, every preset tried to spawn and every preset failed. Now we even spawned with two weapons. We have the M4, this one uh, this one spawned with a 33% chance and the SVD. Now let's read it out again. We have no weapon. Then okay we spawned with one weapon. Um, but as you can see this is actually very rare to spawn with exactly one weapon. Now we spawned with three weapons. Now with zero weapons, now with two weapons again. So this is very different with individual chance enabled and disabled. So this is very important to understand. So we disable individual chance for all of these. And then you can see we always spawn with exactly one weapon. Always the weapon in hands. Okay, so how is the weapon set up? Um, let's check out the M4 first. Um, I'm always double clicking over here to get uh, this one selected. So you can easily find it over here. Um, so the item name is the weapon itself, the M4A1. Um, and this time the name is different. The pre It's called preset M4A1. Um, so you can choose any name over here, but make sure it's the same then over here. Um, and we want to add it to our hotbar. So if we spawn with it, we have it in our hotbar slot. And we can set quantity min max um, doesn't make sense for a weapon, but we'll see for, um, like, ammo stacks or, um, magazines, you can set a quantity. And we want to spawn it in hands, as you may have noticed, this weapon is always spawning in hands. But also, if hands is failing, so we already have something in hands, you saw weapons were put onto our back. So, um... It prefers hands, but if it cannot spawn in hands, it tries to spawn it on the back or in uh, any other slot. Okay, so let's check out the attachments. We have the M4 suppressor. If we double click on here, we can see, okay, this one has an individual chance of 20% to spawn. So if the M4 is spawned, we have a 20% chance to have it spawned with an attachment or with the suppressor. Um, this one is spawned in any, we could set it to attachment, so it will always spawn as attachment. Um, but any would prefer attachment and then try to spawn it somewhere else, but it will try to spawn it on the M4. If it cannot spawn it on the M4, it's not spawning it in the inventory or somewhere else. So keep that in mind. Um, so we have the M4 here, and this one is spawned in hands, and we have a 20% chance of spawning a suppressor. So the buttstock next. We always want to spawn it with the buttstock and have a chance to set one. So that one pretty simple. Then we have the hand handguard. Always want to spawn the plastic handguard and with a chance of one. And now we have a little uh, different preset because we have a preset from over here in here to choose a random scope. So if you want something like a random scope or a random handguard or random buttstock, you need to pre uh, create a new preset, set the individual chance to one if you always want to have a scope, and then you can add your scopes over here. We have the ACOG optic, set individual chance to zero, because uh, the 
don't check the the checkbox um, and we have a chance of 0 0.5 and we also have this one the buis optic the m68 uh, optic and the reflex optic all with a chance of 0 0.5 so all of the chances added are 2 0 0.5 divided by 2 is a 25 percent chance for each of the optics to spawn. So it will take one of the optics, but each optic has a 25% chance to spawn. And this one also spawns in any. You don't really need to care about uh, too much for any attachments except for magazines. You can spawn them in any. Um, that will work. So if you want to spawn it in the player inventory as an additional item, it's not trying to spawn it as attachment, for example, when you use attachment here. Um, so that makes things a little easier. So let's get back to our M4. Let's find it again. Go over to the weapon, weapons and then the M4. Accidentally added another weapon. So M4, here we are again. Um, so we covered the scopes and now let's go to the magazines. So when we choose to spawn a magazine, I like to call it with underscore 100 with the chance, so I always uh, also have a 70 and 30% chance mag. And as you can see, I selected magazine over here. So we need to select magazine, otherwise it's not going to properly spawn the mag inside and your weapon uh, needs to be chambered or reloaded or completely breaks. So make sure to spawn it as magazine. Also, I wanted to spawn it as in the hotbar and this one always spawns, so we always spawn with the 30 round mag. But what we also had was the Senec Extra Max. So this one is a little special because the Extra Max now has these two. That's nothing too special. But if we select it, you can see, okay, individual chance 0 0.7 and spawn in is selected as root. So it's not trying to spawn it on the weapon. If we select magazine or attachment, it tries to spawn it on the weapon and it will fail. But if we want to spawn extra mags with the M4, when the M4 is spawned, we can select root to spawn it in the player. So this is this magazine over here. Um, I can show you that a little better when we only try to spawn the M4. Uh, where is, oh, we need to select it from over here. Um, I cannot spawn it over here, I can only select them from here. Okay, so we're just selecting the weapons and then we can check when we spawn with an M4. We spawned with one extra mag. Mm, now we spawned without any, so we had the f uh, 70 and 30% chance mag, so both failed. Uh, let's spawn with an M4 again. Okay, this time we also spawned with one mag. Again with one mag. You can see with the SVD it's changing, but I want to show you with the M4. Now it's zero mags. So, okay, this time we spawned with two extra mags. So the 70% and the 30% chance, um, they succeeded. So we spawned with the extra mags. I can show you again this uh, 70 and the 30% chance. It's just different in the chance so you need to have different names otherwise it's not knowing which which to to take so that's why i like to call it with underscore 100 underscore 70 and 30 and also this one spawns as, mag as magazine as you can see this one was in the preset over here so this one and this one needs to spawn as magazine and yeah that's the m4 so already pretty complicated, but when you understand what individual chance and not individual chances and how you can spawn extra items and spawn extra sub presets, it's actually not that hard to, to get. And let's uh, do the SVD and SKS. So they work a little different. So the SVD, this one is ac actually pretty similar to the M4. Um, this one also has a suppressor chance, also set to 0 0.2. Then we have the PSO1 optic, this always spawns, and this one has a sub preset with battery, and the battery is spawning as, yeah, oh, like over here, as the attachment of the scope. So we have, again, the SVD, which spawns with the PSO1 optic, and this one has the battery as sub preset, so it spawns the battery inside of the scope. 
And now we have the mag again, set to magazine, and it's always spawning. And then we have the SVD extra. This one has the ammo, so we have 100% ammo. And this one, F means full in my case, and R is random, so we spawn with half to a full stack. Um, and we spawn a full stack always. So this is also spawning in root. So when you re reload, we can see it's spawning in here. The quantities are not probably working on the client, but when you use it on the server, it's going to show you the proper quantities of the, the items in here. And we can see we spawned with two max now. Uh, now we spawned with only one max. So this is uh, the max. Also 10 round full and 10 round 70% full. So we have the extra mag and um, yeah, that's how you spawn the ammo. And this one is extra 30% chance. Also all of them spawn in root. So they spawn on our player when the weapon is spawned on our player. Okay, so let's do the last one. Um, this is the SKS. And the SKS just has the ammo preset in the sub presets so we have this one as magazine so it's spawning with a full mag when we spawn with the preset with the sks and we also have this one spawned as root so we have an extra bit of ammo and yeah that's how you set up clothing and um weapons or at least that's how the default config looks like and in the next video we're going to do mostly the same but um, I'm going to do it from scratch so you can follow along how you can create your own weapons and maybe some other stuff. I have also have a preview for containers. So in theory, you could override um, other mods like the airdrop mod and select the preview container and then you can very nicely set up loot for airdrops. So um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to set this all up.